Welcome to another Unturned video. In today's video, we're going to go solo on Arid and we're going to go from nothing to becoming the richest solo in the server. We're going to fight groups, raid bases, and build a small butt stack base. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me over there. We also have a huge giveaway happening there where everyone can get a free skin in Unturned. If you want to join, make sure to hop in the Discord. Today, we're going to host another mythical giveaway, which is a musical tombstone bulldog donated by desmond to win this mythical make sure that you've liked subscribed and comment something below chat members also have a higher chance of winning before we dive into the video i want to introduce you to today's sponsor are you guys trying to start your own unturned servers whether it's for survival roleplay or simply to create a private server for you and your friends look no further than pine hosting pine hosting does make setting up your server very easy they offer high performance servers and it's a very user-friendly interface when i first started into hosting my network i literally had no idea how to do anything but after a few minutes i I did learn the navigation and I also did learn the basics in a very short time. They have locations all over the world, the pricing is also very cheap and they also do have a variety of games including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you already have a server with another provider, they will provide personalized assistance to help move your server as well. If you're ready to start your own unturned server, don't miss the link in the description below and be sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, so we're currently in Arid. Now I do have some loot I've been farming for a little bit. I did play here on a live stream, but we got offline raided obviously, and I did log off with some loot. Nothing too crazy though, but this server is actually Dilium does game network. There are a lot of bases around, a lot of people have been playing here. If you guys want to play on the server, I'll have the link and uh, the IP and the port in the description below. Probably be making a survival series, but today what I want to do is I want to get myself a good start. I want to get myself a, a, a base down, which is currently what we're doing. Perhaps trying to get ourselves as much progression as possible. I'm pretty sure I already have AG17 key and AG18 from the last stream, so... So that's already a, a pretty good bonus. Alright, well I'm out of wood. I'm gonna just chop down myself a little more trees. Now this server is basically like two times load. It does drop a little bit more extra load, even forageables. But it would be great if I see you guys here. I'm gonna probably try to make a series here too. There are some clans playing here as well. There's no group limit on the server. I'm gonna make myself a bed as well. Now we're gonna build very close to the main city. Actually, I've never really did that, but I think it's gonna be a pretty good idea to build here. It's close to Tamara, close to AG18, which leads us to AG19, obviously, which is good for a dead zone. Let's make ourselves some crates as well. Made ourselves another door. So now we have an airlock. But for this base, I also do want to upgrade it to stone because very close to us, there are stone spawns. We can make ourselves an industrial crate as well. There we go, we got it. It's on the floor. Let's put that video receiver over there. Right, let's pick up this crate, put that right over there. All right, lovely. And now let's put everything and we can start doing some loot runs. All right, so from the last stream where I played here, I actually did manage to vault. I rescue saw and night vision, which is actually two huge important items. We got ourselves another Zolash. So I'm just going to start doing AG18 runs. I still need to farm myself for a gas mask and all of that kind of stuff, but... Night vision is actually huge to have. Yeah, from here, we're gonna try to farm as much junk as possible. Let's get ourselves night vision. Let's put these in vault as well. And let's hope we get ourselves some good loot. If we get reloading tools from down here, that'll be great. I still need to get a toolbox from dog tags too. So I'll just do that later on. Same time, we're gonna be farming dog tags because they're good to get metal. Uh, we're back in base. Some okay loot. Let's just put everything. We got some extra backpacks. Let's put the night vision back in vault. I don't want to lose those. My only pair for now. Get ourselves extra guns as well, some ammo belts, we could salvage this heavy duty. Get ourselves a lot of cloth, so that's pretty good actually, we're gonna need those, just in case I do try to do a fork now run. HQ fabric as well, we got ourselves a DRTP bullet, oil canister, let's put that right over it, actually, it's kind of in the doorway, so let's just put that there. Get our lighter too, so we can make a campfire. But yeah, first loot run was pretty nice. Alright, so there's a few zombies, got an Explo magazine, so hopefully... I'll kill more of them with... It's actually not really doing much. I'll just kill them with a melee right now. Let's pick up the dog tags. I'll just spray them down, man. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, anything good? Well, a bunch of clouds, dog tags. Yeah, nothing really good. A few attachments. Some helmets. Just kind of hoping for a better look. But we got ourselves a full inventory. Let's just stack the dog tags and the copper. We got a bit more space, finally. But yeah, let's get everything. Lovely. 
Alright, so we got ourselves a lot more wood. Let's just finish the base into a 2 by 2 Gonna make ourselves another wall. Yeah, now we got roof. And the base is sealed. Just gonna make ourselves another door. Gonna make them into planks, basically. Let's just do another doorway here for honeycomb. And let's just put this door there. And now we have ourselves a 2 by 2 All of them with a doorway. Looks pretty cool. Hey, I'm gonna make myself a campfire and then we're gonna make it into a barrel. So we can actually put it inside the base. There we go. I don't really know where to put it, actually. No, it doesn't look good back here. Yeah, let's put it over here. Lovely. Oh, yeah, I ran into the way. <laughs> Alright, let's go. And a base is a bit better. I think very soon, actually, I'm gonna farm myself as much clay as possible. Pretty sure I can actually make myself a filter and the gas mask already, so... I should have picked up enough items... Yeah, we can make electronics into plastic. Just gonna need the hammer. I got the hammer. Oh, yeah, we need two electronics, actually, pair. It's alright, we got a lot of electronics. Electronics are much easier to find. Alright, there we go. We got plastic. Now we need the toolbox. And the mesh. Mesh, we have it in vault. And toolbox is right over here. And we got ourselves a filter. We just gotta get ourselves the HQ fabric. And some lenses, which we should have. And we could just salvage this, and I'm pretty sure it gives... Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe this one gives us... Yep. Alright, we got the lenses. And the gauze mask is crafted. Lovely. We can just put that in vault. Very soon we'll do a dead zone run. Alright, boys. First AG19 run. Let's hope we get some good stuff, bro. Alright, and here we go. We got ourselves a mag box. Better Zolash grenade. From here, what I really want is just roll of lead. Roll of lead, and I also do want to get myself MKP parts. I do want to make myself an MKP today. Salvage the CW here. Bunch of junk. But roll of lead is obviously the main priority. I also want to get myself all the items to make a horde beacon, so actually. Or the distress one. Alright. Ready from the run. Got myself a lot of good stuff. Got myself a crowbar crystal. AP shell right over here. We actually need to make more storage because we barely have any. Got myself a lot of roll of lead, didn't get enough though, so I'm gonna have to do another run for sure. Yeah, I only got just for one of the two clouds. MKP parts is nice. We do need some stuff to actually f upgrade that. We need weapon skin and a lot of high tier gun parts. I don't even know how to make these, to be honest. I'm probably gonna be at the bottom. Oh yeah, we do need uh, a little bit of stuff. Alright, no problem. I gotta need to make myself some more storage actually, because it's starting to get full. I made ourselves a bunch of more crates. Gonna make another one, but we're gonna need some frags to make another door. I have some stuff on the floor, bro. I really don't want to keep stuff on the floor. There's a uh, Dragunov literally right there. It would be a shame if it despawns. There we go. We got some more charcoal for more filters. And next, we're going to do a tomorrow run, actually. Alright, so there's a construction mega zombie. He's not even coming towards me. Alright, he's dead. Oh, he dropped some stuff. Um, fuses is nice. We got ourselves an anvil, so let's salvage these electric drills. Alright, not too bad. By the way, I do also want to announce that if you guys ever build, like, a large base on my network servers, I could really do, like, a showcase video of it. I do want to start doing that for my second YouTube channel. If you guys did not know, I do have one over there. I post other stuff than on turn, but I do want to start a series there, which is a base tour series. I already did, like, two videos there, but nothing really that special. So if you guys want to do that on my network, it could be a fun event as well. There's a smoke over here. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, my guy had a lot of zombies on him. Let's clear him out. I think he seems quite geared, actually. I mean, let's kill all of them. Bro, die. There's so many, man. It's really all of Tamara's coming. I don't want the dude to come back. He may have a base close or something. I really don't know. Bro, there's so many zombies. Die. There we go. Oh, there's still one more, actually. Alright, so he had a bunch of guns. He had a coyote pack. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's better than the one that I had. Yeah, a bunch of dog tags, uh, tools. Alright, and let's home. Alright, second dead zone run. That was actually a misclick. Oops. It's untouched. There's zombies everywhere, so people weren't here. Good. We got ourselves a dressing. We're getting ourselves quite some good loot, man. I'm really hoping to get myself the 4 roll of lead. Our inventory is already full, man. Gotta organize a bit, put stuff in vault, because vault, I did empty it out. Alright, so we're back in base. Pretty good run. Bunch of more junk. Another MKP part. I'm actually gonna salvage it so we can get ourselves the gun parts. Now we're gonna start to focus a bit on base upgrades. 
Okay, let's try to get ourselves as much clay as possible. Get ourselves in tranching tool, so so we sh it's gonna be very easy. So we still got a lot of stone left actually and we did upgrade the majority of base just put them in here for now four stacks remain that, that's quite good all right so actually i'm gonna <laughs> trade the bricks for a mesh which is what i need it's worth it totally man i assume we're in his base right now for adamantium as well looks pretty good i'm just gonna wait to home but i have played with this group before a lot and they do play here a lot as well but today we're gonna be solo if they need help, then they'll just let me know. And if I need help, I'll just let them know as well. But right now, we're just going to full solo life. Wait, someone just got in a car. Bro, there's a guy here. There <laughs> we go, he's dead. Oh, he got... What? Alright, he has a billion oil canisters. Rope. Take these for sure. Alright, let's get out of here. Fertilizer. Third solo dead zone run. Still looking for more AG weapons and trying to get ourselves all of the roll of lead that we need. There's a lot of zombies actually though. Let's take them all out. There we go. Get this dude. Alright, yep, we got three roll of lead from there. Oh, that's huge. Finally, we have enough then. The roll of lead, the first two runs are actually not that easy to find. Alright, back from third dead zone run. We still are missing a few items for the horde. Sadly, we still need the military computer and the red circuit board, but it shouldn't really be that hard. And even the solid stage drive, we don't have that. So we still need a uh, few more items to do it. There's a dude back here. Oh, oh I'm dead, man. Ah, oh, rip. Oh, he's right here. Oh. oh, he's a duo. Oh my god, there was another dude up there, man. Oh, feels bad. Bro, wait, what? I think someone died here. Oh, yeah, someone did die here. No, oh, it's funny. Nothing good, though. By the way, that duo that killed me over at the city, apparently they're door camping that team that I did the trade with. And we did say that if they need help, then I'm gonna help them out, but kind of too far from them right now. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. Oh, there's a. There's three guys here. One guy dead. Hit him. Hit him. Bro. Alright, let's med up and push. Wait, what? Somebody's raiding, I think. I right, hope that's not my base, bro. Let's just kill him and check. Alright, yeah, he's dead. Alright, huge. Yeah, this dude had the SMG. AR. Bunch of dog tags. I'll actually take those. Let's check out the third dude. Bro, I just killed the trio. Yeah, AR again. Bunch of junk. Bro, that could be my base. No, it's not. My base, my bed is still there, so it probably isn't. It could be that duo raiding my allies, basically. Me and that team were allied. Yeah, the raid... Bro, what is that noise? I really don't know. But me and that group are allied, and we're gonna help each other out when we need. Because apparently their base is quite large, and they're getting dork which is not really fun for them. Thankfully, my base is still untouched, though. Alright, so I joined their group. Damn, they're geared. They've been grinding the server ever since it launched, I'm pretty sure. But we're gonna go try to raid these guys. Yeah, look at all this wood, bro. These guys are geared as hell, man. Obviously, we're gonna use their raiding gear. I'm just gonna help them out just in case it's online. You know, comes to PvP. And I'll take my share for my base. Alright, so this is, uh, I'm pretty sure, where their base is. Mainly stone and metal. They left the server, by the way. We got ourselves their plane as well. We're right, so also gonna place a bed here, just in case we get countered, which is probably gonna happen because on aired, if you raid, literally everyone hears you, and the server is quite populated right now. Alright, so this is where we should raid. My teammate has, I think, they made like 4C4 in total. They should be able to make more, I think, and I do have a little bit more raiding gear in my vault. I do have an MKP explosive box, which could be enough to raid. Yeah, we're through, and yep, there's some stuff on the floor, a lot of metal, that's nice. This metal is good, actually. Yeah, this is just gonna be honeycomb. So we still have to go even deeper into the base. So just three more C4 and we would be through. And we should go through here. Hope that there is loot back there. Alright, yeah, he's placing C4. Oh, he has two C4 actually. 
That could be enough. There could be a already been splash damage. Yeah, they do our offline right now, too, so... It's actually kind of good because now we can just raid them and get rid of them. They were door camping this team for, like, a long time, too, and they tried to leather in. Thankfully, they didn't know where my base was because they probably would have just door camped me, too, especially since I was solo. Right, so my teammate did manage to craft another C4. They had the explosive still in base. Let's hope it's enough, bro. Yep, we're through. There's loot. Oh, there's a lot of loot. Oh my god. Bro, look at those MKP parts. Warhead, Cobalts, a bunch of guns, a billion IR spotlights. This is actually pretty good loot. I'm just gonna... Basically what I'm gonna do since we're using the raiding gears, I'm gonna drop everything at their base and they take whatever they want. And I'll take whatever they don't want. Since it's their loot, it's their loot that we're raiding with technically. All I really want is just the metal, honestly, for base. And we would have ourselves a secured base. There's a lot of loot, man. It's gonna take a while to move all of this loot, so... We got a warhead, man. A warhead is crazy, bro. They probably logged off with the good loot, so... So if this is in there, just in their crates, I can't imagine what they logged off with. I'm gonna take that gun, so I like that gun a lot. And we didn't get one from our dead zone runs. Alright boys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Now if you guys want this to become a series, I would love to come back here and do more. There's a lot of more people playing there, and I would love to see you guys there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.